I'm going to try to give a simple explanation of the new wireless vulnerability that everyone's been talking about for the last week or so. So this wireless vulnerability affects basically all vendors, um, all wireless systems out there, and basically all clients that are out there. Um, any network running WPA or WPA2, and that's also pre-share key and enterprise. So pre-share key meaning I connect to a wireless hotspot somewhere and I put a, a pre-share key in. Uh, or I'm using enterprise where I connect and it's asking me for my username and password. They're all affected by this. And the main vulnerability, the main thing that people are worried about here is that this could be a man-in-the-middle attack. Meaning that typically my wireless device, whether it's my laptop or my iPhone, we send directly to the wireless access point that's there. And traffic goes back and forth, no problem. With a man-in-the-middle attack, someone injects themselves in the middle and my laptop no longer sends directly, it goes through this third party that's sitting in the middle and he forwards off my data to the wireless system. On my side, I never notice anything because he's still forwarding my data off. So I go to a web page and everything looks great to me because I'm still connected. But where the problem lies in is now he's in the middle and he's looking at all the traffic that I'm doing. So if I'm working on a presentation, I'm sending an email, you know, these things are typically not encrypted. He can take a look at all the information, everything that I'm looking at, he can download on his side. Now, this isn't so much of a problem if I'm encrypting everything. So let's say I go to a website that uses HTTPS and I put my social security number in or my banking account information. You don't have too much to worry about when that happens because everything from your laptop or whatever device you're on it's typically going to be all encrypted all the way through to that banking website um, and into the back end there. So you don't have too much to worry about that. But for anything that is not encrypted, this is a big worry. So what do you need to do? How do you protect yourself for this? So this is really a twofold um, thing that you guys have to worry about. Number one, we need to patch our wireless system. And number two, we need to patch all of our clients. From a Cisco perspective, fixing this on the wireless side is very easy. There's only one CVE that we're really concerned about, the CVE 2017-13082. And that has to do with 802.11R or fast roaming or FT or whatever. Now, you could also turn that off and your wireless, from a Cisco perspective, would be fixed. If you're not running 802.11R anywhere and it's off, you got really have nothing to worry about from a um, wireless system perspective. You still need to worry about your clients because even if you're not running it or even if you're patched, your clients still could be vulnerable. You need to update both sides. It's not going to be too much of an issue updating your major manufacturers out there, your Apple devices, your Windows devices, your Android devices. Those should all have updates relatively soon if they're not out already. The thing that I'm a little more concerned about is all these kind of um, IoT devices that are out there, things that, you know, brands we've never heard of, running operating systems, we have no idea what they are. We need to make sure that those are also getting patched or you never know, someone might be able to get into your, your thermostat or um, into your security system. You know, who knows? You need to make sure you patch those clients, even if your Wi-Fi, even if your wireless is patched because, again, that attack affects both sides of things. Cisco put out a ton of information about this. You can go to this website here. I'll post this link in the description of this video. And if you guys want, you can read through this all. Um, I try to, again, summarize all this uh, in this video. Um, but any fixes that you guys need from the Cisco wireless side of things, you can go out and you can download. There is updates for the wireless LAN controllers 8.0, 8.1, 8.2, 8.3. Um, and if there's an offshoot uh, device that you have, if it's not patched, it should be patched fairly soon here. So, you know, with that, guys, hopefully that was a simple explanation of what's going on. And if you have any questions, again, just post in the video and I'll try to answer them. Thank you.